Hello! I finished up Let's Play Delver the other day, as you're probably aware, and I need something to take that slot, to fill in the gaping chasm in my life that has been left by the completion of Delver. I haven't decided yet what's going to take its slot, so for the time being, to keep me occupied while I ponder the big questions, I'm returning to a game that I drifted away from a few months ago. Welcome back to Let's Play Doom the Roguelike, the game that is jointly responsible for getting me playing roguelikes as much as I do. The other one was uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore. So anyway, new game. I feel a bit crap putting it on the easiest setting, but then setting three always seems a little too difficult. For now, to ease ourselves back in to Doom the Roguelike, let's go on the second setting. Hey, not too rough. All right, um, Marine Scout or Technician. I think the Marine is basically the Brawler class, so let's go with that. Keep things simple for this return to Doom the Roguelike. Which skill do we want? Uh, you're a diehard piece of shit. Keep on fighting, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you get a greater health increase per level gained. Uh, you can attack faster, you move faster, you'll shrug off one more point of damage for every level of this trait. Let's keep it really, really simple and go with greater health increase per level. Type a name for your character. I'm going to call him Stuart. We don't need to read the introduction, it's the same as Doom Doom. A load of marines went into this base and they didn't come out again. Done. Alright. So, here we go. Uh, we should start off with basically a pistol and some ammo for the pistol. Okay. These are vital. There are always a couple of first aid kits on the first floor. Before long, we'll stop running into enemy sol- <laughs> Right on cue. Enemy soldiers. There we go. We're already down to 87% health. I don't feel great about that. I'm surprised shotgun guy didn't manage to land a hit on us there. Whoa! Okay, okay, too many. Back up. Let's see if I can peek at them around the corner. There we go. Come on, pop your head out. I'm waiting here with the middle key on the number pad. Number five. No. Alright, they seem to have run away. So we'll get the shotgun. Aha, there you are, you little bastard. Alright, basically, troll around picking up all this ammo. Down to 81% health. Again, not hugely happy. But we do at least have first aid kits. So we don't need to worry too much about health here. Um, just checking out these rooms to make sure there's nothing worth having. And... Don't miss this pistol ammo, and then down we go to the next floor. Oh, crap on a stick. Okay, let's break out the shotgun and go to town on these bastards. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have to reload the shotgun after every single shot. That's its major failing, if you ask me. And it's probably meant to be its major failing, in all honesty. Don't need all these extra shotguns. They'll just clutter up my inventory. I think they actually do count as extra weapons rather than just adding to your ammo like they do in Doom Doom. Uh, going to switch back to the pistol here now that we're out of immediate pressing danger. I say walking straight into immediate danger. Okay, so let's grab this health globe for a bit of health recovery. Now we're down to the 60s of health. Okay. Well, there's an exit. You know, now that I've played more roguelikes than I had the last time I Let's Played this game, it reminds me of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I don't know if that's intentional, but I do... I feel like there's a bit of a similarity in some of the design choices. Why is this guy taking so many hits? Oh, he was wearing armour. Okay. Uh, I think we need to put our armour on. There we go. Whoa! Shit! What happened there? Oh, was that toss bag? Okay. Whoa! Okay, let's uh, let's shotgun it again. Make sure it's reloaded. And fuck! 
these guys are owning my ass. Well, we got level two at least. Wow. Um, what should we go with this time? Reload faster. Increase your chance to hit by two points. That's probably worth having. I'm going to keep the shotgun out for now. I, I like generally to use the pistol at this early stage of the game, but I feel like we're having such a rough time with these enemies that it, it might be more beneficial to just uh, keep the shotgun handy at all times. The thing you do have to watch out for in this, of course, is barrels. They're a serious problem. Alright, so what's through here then? A switch. That doesn't bode well. Switches rarely lead anywhere good. Uh, right. Well, let's try it. Oh, it repaired my armour. Notice it says, you pull the lever, your armour looks better. So that's good. My armour's back up to 84% repaired, which is certainly better than it was on before. Alright, anything up here? No, dead end. Thought as much. Okay. I think we're almost ready to move on. We'll probably take the red staircase down to the arena thing, rather than the normal staircase. Because uh, we don't at least get a reward from doing that. Although actually, you know, having had such a bad run of luck with combat so far, maybe it would make more sense. I'm going to try and blow up that barrel from cover. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, since we've had such a bad run of luck with combat so far, maybe it would make more sense to um, just take the normal exit rather than going to the arena. Oh, shite. Don't you dare shoot me. Go down! Seriously, four shotgun blasts. I don't need that rocket, but I might appreciate it. Uh, later on, if I ever find a rocket launcher. If I live long enough to find a rocket launcher. All done? All done. Okay. As I probably mentioned when I was Let's Playing this before, one of my favourite things about Doom the Roguelike... ah oh, crap! Um, ...is that it uses music from actual Doom. Run! I'm surprised that gambit worked, actually. I was basically just trying to um, get out of that enclosed area before one of those dumbass demonic creatures um, blew up that barrel and killed us all. Alright, alright. Let's take the normal stairs. Here we go. Okay. More shotgun shells. I'm going to aim for the barrel this time. Yeah, take that. Not so clever now. You and your smug shooting me all the time. Fuck! That's what they get for gloating. They pull the same trick on me. Alright, we're going to have to use some first aid kits here, because we're taking a lot of damage. Uh, they're only small ones, so they don't heal that much. There we go, back up to full health. Make sure we're loaded, and move on. And I'm going to continue... I didn't mean to pick up a pistol. Might have to drop that. Uh, second pistol, B. Okay. Uh, switch back to that, make sure it's loaded, because I noticed it wasn't loaded when I was in the inventory. I'm going to stick to carrying the shotgun around, because I do seem to be having enough trouble surviving at all, even using the shotgun, so I probably shouldn't switch back to just using the pistol. Wow, going thick and fast here now. Aha, health. Always welcome. Um, of course, we've just seen the stairs there, so that's one possible exit. Definitely a good idea to bear that in mind, because we may very well have to run for the exit if things keep going this way. Okay. Ooh, more health. Okay, I feel like we're probably mostly done with this floor now. Ow. Oh. Yeah. And a bit more ammo to compensate for my trouble. Alright, I think we're about done here. We seem to have cleaned out everything there is 
uh, worth seeing or finding on this form. So let's move onwards. And straight off the bat, we're up against a demon. So it's back up and then try to hit this barrel. There we go. And now will just pump the demon full of shotgun things, pellets, fuck. Okay. Whoa, that demon approaches fast. And basically we can only shoot every other turn, which is a serious problem when you're being cornered by one of those guys. Fuck, where was that barrel? I completely failed to notice that. So yeah, that missing turn every time you have to reload is a serious problem when you're up against demons. Uh, but it's still better than trying to take them on with a pistol, which would take forever. Let's do some more healing. Back up to 94. Uh, okay, we're out of armour. I didn't notice that. So let's put our blue armour on. There we go. We've probably been armourless for ages and someone in, in the comments will be going, God, you didn't have any armour on for half the game. Alright, what shall we go with? Yeah, I, I like that eagle eye trait. Increase your chance to hit. Okay. So, let's move on. Boots. Yeah, there you go. Alright, steel boots. Um, we can put those on, so let's do so. I forget what they do. I think maybe they protect you from um, caustic surfaces, you know, lava and acid and that kind of stuff. I could be mistaken, but I think that's probably what they do, logically. Found a map there, so we can see large chunks of the level. More boots. So if my current boots take too much damage, then we know where to find more. Oh, I didn't want the second shotgun. Uh, where is it? Oh, oh I think it's uh, B there. Yeah. Come on. There you are. Fucker. Okay. Aha, more super armor. I'll definitely take that. I mean, I know it's not called super armor, but it's super compared to the green one. Okay, that's just the rest of that room. I definitely think we made the correct choice here going for only the second difficulty setting, because we're having enough trouble with that already. Do I want to get the Berserk pack? Ah, uh, why the hell not? It's basically free health, if nothing else. Uh, Alright. Looks like we're about done. Now, where's that exit? There it is. Down we go. Oh, shit, really? Ah, well, it worked out. I can hear a demon. Oh, crap on a stick. I don't know why that's become my new saying, but there you go technical mod pack. I think you can use that to upgrade various things. Weapon armor or boots? Considering how much we're using the shotgun, I'm going to say modify weapon. Okay. I think that worked. So now at the bottom where it says weapon, you can see we have shotgun, 8d3, 1 of 1, t1. I think the t1 indicates that it's um, an upgraded shotgun. Because the armour will just uh, give up the ghost sooner or later, and so will the boots. So it seemed like the weapon was the logical choice there. I know this music is from Doom, which predates the film I'm about to mention, but it always reminds me of The Matrix. Listen. Is it just me? Maybe it's because my brother and I used to listen to The Matrix soundtrack so much back in the day. Taking a lot of damage, but thanks to the relatively easy difficulty setting, we're actually managing to tank a lot of it in a way that we probably shouldn't. Chain gun guy needs to die. Okay, definitely take the chain gun. Phase device. I think the phase device is like an emergency teleporter. I think. Maybe I'm thinking of a different item, but there was definitely an item like that in this game. 
double shotgun. Um, don't have enough room in the backpack, though. Okay, what's worth dropping? Combat knife. Um, so I'm unlikely to use that. I'll take the double shotgun. That's one of the things I'd forgotten about Doom the Roguelike that you need to think about. Is, um, unlike Doom Doom, which is my term for original actual Doom, of course, um, oh crap, okay, we're going to have to use some first aid here. Uh, yeah, unlike real Doom, original Doom, uh, you can't just carry all the weapons you come across. If you carry all the possible weapons, then half your inventory will be full of them. Let's use the phase device to escape from this situation. Yeah, it is what I thought it was. And while we're safe, I'm going to use a couple of first aid kits. We're still only at 66% health, but it's better than what we had before. Another phase device as well to make up for the one we lost. Man, we're hemorrhaging health at the moment. Good thing we've got this first aid kit, so let's once again use that. No point saving them for a rainy day if the rain is going to be my own blood raining upon my face. Well, hit myself with the exploding barrel, which is not brilliant. But, once again, we're saved by a lucky medkit grab. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Um, mm. Okay. Next floor. Phobos level 6, the smell of a massacre. I think this is where things start going down the toilet a bit. I mean, look at this open layout. It just lends itself to being mobbed by hordes of nasty. And listen to the music! How can you not be afraid when there's music this dramatic going on? Okay, we need to duck out of sight so that imp can't keep shooting as well as battling the demon. Down you go. Now, where's the demon gone? There it is. And the chain gun guy. Nope. Dead. See, the scary music was right! Ugh. Anyway, thanks for watching Let's Play Doom the Roguelike Revisited. Um, this is filling in for Delver since I finished that game. Um, I haven't decided what's going to be its replacement. Maybe I'll just stick with Doom the Roguelike. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but for the time being, this is what I'm using to fill in that space until I've decided on something else. Thanks for watching. Rejoin me the next time round when we have another go at taking on the depths of Phobos. Until then, bye for now.